All right, well, the juicy details uh, in the corruption trial of former Illinois Governor Rob Bogoyevich just keep on coming. The Associated Press now getting their hands on some emails from the 2006 period between Governor Bogoyevich's top aide and then Congressman Rahm Emanuel. According to these reports, the two negotiated over a trade-off of political favors. Nothing, according to anything that uh, is in all of this, that appears to cross any legal lines, apparently. Uh, but we're starting to get some insight into the relationship between the current White House Chief of Staff and the disgraced governor through all of this. Charlie Hurt has been looking into it all, and he joins us. Uh, he's the Washington Bureau Chief at the New York Post. Excuse me, Charlie, good morning. Good to see you. Good morning to you, Martha. So shed some light on this for us. Tell everybody about these exchanges and what exactly was promised on both sides. Well, uh, th this happened all happened back in 2006 mm -hmm. when uh, Rod Blagojevich was running for re-election. And he got into a little bit of uh, trouble back home, uh, accused by the, the uh, Chicago Tribune of uh, using, uh, you know, skimping on his campaign and using public funds to basically promote his campaign. And, uh, and, and they went after him pretty good. Uh, at the time, Blagojevich's uh, chief of staff, his top aide, uh, sought to get people to write letters on his behalf, sort of defending him and sticking up for him. And he reached out to Rahm Emanuel in an email and asked Emanuel to write a letter to the editor defending him, which Emanuel did. But later that, that, that same day, uh, uh, Rahm Emanuel's chief of staff, over, you know, when he, as a, right. uh, his congressional staff, uh, emailed uh, back to, to Blagojevich's office saying, uh, okay, we've got this $2 million uh, federal grant for, uh, for, uh, for, for uh, a school back in my district. We need to get this, mo we need to get this money yeah. going. You know, we, we've no, oh, we've always known that, the, that, that, there, that there have been connections between uh, Pre President Obama and a lot of his people and the Blagojevich people. But what's really interesting here is this begins to kind of shed light on sort of the unseemly nature, the transactional political nature but don't, of Charlie, don't the way politics don't a lot of folks look at this kind of thing and say, oh, you know, we're cynical. We know this is the way business is done. Uh, is there anything out of the ordinary, really, in this, in this discussion and in this exchange of favors? Uh, probably not all that much out of the ordinary, which is kind of uh, depressing. But, uh, but, but the, the bottom line is that it, it, it keeps connecting uh, people like Rahm Emanuel to people like Rod Blagojevich, which is a problem for this administration. This administration, you know, President Obama was an ally of Blagojevich's, although sort of somewhat at, at, at arm's, arm's length. Arm's length, but yeah. They were, but but, but Democrat, they're both Democrats, part of the same machine in the same city that has a reputation for being very corrupt. And it's not good for the White House. It's not good for Rahm Emanuel. And uh, people just don't like, uh, you know, it's an association that just does not help uh, the, yeah. the kind of squeaky clean yeah, image that the Rob White House Lugoy, pervades. These folks have made clear that they're going to draw these connections several times through the uh, course of all this because they think it's going to be helpful to them. Um, yeah, they, 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 uh, the Obama administration is their life raft. And at yeah. every point, uh, it's been almost comical the way uh, Blagojevich has gone out of his way to try to to, to launch tendrils into the Obama administration. I think he really would like to get Obama on the stand. Exactly. All right, Charlie, thanks so much. Good to see you. Charlie Hurt in Washington.